it was, it was a close contest. We may have made it a little bit closer there at the end than it was necessary, but uh, we were able to, to make enough plays uh, over the course of the game. Really, the separation probably was in the eight minute mark, it was a tight game, and we created some separations about that three minute mark in the game right there. So that was a big stretch. Um, everybody that wore a gold jersey today had, had a part in this game. Big game for us. You talked about that stretch alley on, I think, at 14 straight points for you guys. If I'm not mistaken, what was going on for you guys there? How was he getting those looks? Well, I, I thought he was scoring the ball. He did a good job. Um, and he, he's, he's so crafty. Um, he, he's, he's a veteran player. Um, get him the ball. He was kind of in that mid-post area. And he can either face up and score or back you down. Um, he did have a size advantage at times. Other times, he just used the pump fake ones when they had size. So. He's a good player. Uh, it's great to see him have no turnovers. There have been some days and nights where we've had a lot of turnovers, 17, only 12 in a low possession game to start the season. So by far our best day of the year taking care of the basketball, and certainly that helped. Troy Harper coming off the bench, how much of a boost does he give you when he kind of comes into the game and can do that for you? Troy Harper plays like that. He gives us a boost whether he's on the bench or starting or whatever. <laughs> uh, I thought he was really, really good today. And, and you know what, we just start off a little bit of a slump this season. And he and I have talked a lot. And, uh, really happy for him to have this day and this moment. Uh, we all know uh, it means a little bit more maybe to a Philadelphia guy. Uh, 24 points, he got to the foul line. You know, we're giving him the ball late in the game to go to the foul line. Uh, I think he probably took maybe one ill advised shot and transition a quick three. But other than that, I thought his shot selection was good. And uh, he was huge for us today. Are you working Kirk back in the rotation? Because I know he sat out last game, came off the bench this game. Are you kind of just trying to work him in? Well, I mean, Kirk practiced one day this week. So I mean, we, we, our intention was to play him. Um, he's not 100%. Uh, he will be. And uh, it, today the matchups were what they were. And knowing he's not 100%, um, we just kind of went with the group that was making plays. So. He's a huge part of our program and will continue to be. I uh, might shine a little bit more credit to the other guys that were able to do things today. We've got a very uh, unselfish locker room, and uh, it's great. It's a step forward as we're in year three and kind of establishing the culture. And the attitude is sometimes you, sometimes me, always us. And uh, today with different guys, Kirk's great in that locker room right now. He's fired up, and uh, this was a great program win. A couple of his shots go in and out. I mean, maybe we have a bigger lead going to the half, truthfully. What, uh, what strengths would you take away from today's game, uh, you know, going What's forward? What? what strengths, you know, positive things would you take from today's game, um, you know, going into the future that will, you know, help you guys to keep this momentum going? If we can be single-digit in turnovers, that certainly helps us play a better brand of basketball. Um, you know, they're very physical. Uh, and keep them on the offensive glass decent today. Um, with the exception of Kimber, who I think is going to be a terrific player for Ash. Um, if you can take care of the basketball and shoot 85% from the foul line, I mean, we took 40 foul shots. But we got to the paint, we got fouled, and we took advantage of them. That's what I would take away. If we can get in the paint, good things happen. And then there were times when we got in the paint, we didn't get fouled, Cam Winter had a couple great layups. Troy Harper had a layup, Ali Han had a layup. So if you can get to the paint, good things happen. Was it just the matchups that kind of dictated the, the dribble penetration and the desire to get to get to the rim as much as possible? Yeah. I mean, we want to do that every possession. We just haven't been great at it so far. And certainly against Eastern Michigan, it's his own game. Brent Athens is a unique matchup as well. Um, Rutgers, you know, the game got away a little bit. So I don't know if we've had enough sampling to, for you guys to see what we truly want to be about. But if we can if we can pound the paint every possession and get two or three paint touches, whether it's a post speed or just a dribble penetration. It makes us good. It makes us better. Uh, were you expecting, kind of before the season, Cam be kind of ready to fill the, as big a role as he's kind of done so far? I think he's the most natural point guard in our program. And uh, so, certainly in the evaluation process, we felt strongly about him. He did have three turnovers and a crazy foul, which counts two turnovers at the end of the game. Now. So he's a freshman still. He's learning. But uh, he's getting some great on the job training right now. and. Uh, very happy with how he's producing. Is this is your second straight win here? You know, last year you came in, and beat them by sure. two. Do you think having that performance last year coming in today, do you think it kind of 
help them help the players a little bit? Yeah, I would love to tell you yes, but we got seven new guys that didn't play a minute for us last year. So, you know, Cam <laughs> Winter had 15 points and six rebounds, and he was he was in high school last year. So I, I don't know if that had an effect. Maybe there was a little bit of confidence, but I think every year is different. Every game's different. Um, so probably not. But uh, I know it's big for our program. We played LaSalle 29 times so far in this series, and it's the first time we've ever won back to back. So. Certainly, it's a, it's, a, it's a big win because it's a story program, great tradition and history, and uh, really confident that Ash is going to get things going. You know, I'm a, Ash is a Drexel grad. 364 <laughs> days of the year, we're pulling for him. But, uh, except for that one day, obviously. With that in mind, you expect to continue this uh, series? We'd love to. We'd love to. You know, we, we want to we play as many Philadelphia teams as we can, and as the schedule allows and permits. And uh, I know they're going to come back. And, uh, next year to the deck, and uh, yeah, we would love to continue to play as many teams as we can in Philadelphia. All right.